Hello, this is Shane McCabe down here at Nissan of Cookville giving you a quick walk around of that Toyota Sienna, uh, the 2017. Uh, we just got it back, so it has to uh, go through service real quick and then has to get detailed. Um, but wanted to at least give you a walk around so you have an idea, being that we don't have any pictures of this on the website. Um, looking at it over on the outside here on the front, um, I would say it's near perfect. I don't see anything uh, too crazy with scratches, dents, stings on the hood here. Uh, it looks like... Nope, that just wipes right off. So short of the two spots here for a front license plate bracket, I'd say that's pretty good shape there. And then uh, it looks like the clip is a little bit popped here. That might be something we can get back in once it goes over to service. Um, really nice face on the wheel here. It doesn't look like it's been curbed or anything of that nature. And then I do see a little bit of a, uh, a bump right there. But then looking on the actual body of the vehicle here, looks really, really good shape. And then show you that wheel there too. Good face there. Again, doesn't look like it's uh, been bumped into or anything. And then here in the back, uh, same thing. Um, I don't see any sort of scratches, dents, dings here. You do get these little circles around the back. These are going to be backup sensors. And then this one actually has a hitch on it. So that's pretty cool as well. Let me uh, pop this here. You can see that's all powered, comes right up as it should. Then I'll give you a look in here in the back. So here you got the uh, all weather mats. And again, this does have to go through detail still. Um, so it is a little bit dirty through here, but it will end up getting cleaned up for you. But it looks like from what I can tell looking quick, should be most all of those for the all weather mats there. You do have the middle seat here, which would then get placed in there if you do want to use it with the middle seat. Um, these are stow and go seats as well. Let's see if I can. With one hand, it's kind of a pain sometimes, but to give you an idea of the condition of these seats here, really nice shape. And then let me get this one up here. Sorry about the camera moving around everywhere. Like I said, a little hard with one hand, but uh, these back seats, I, I'd almost say nobody's ever sat in them. They look uh, nearly pristine on those. Um, here you do have a little household outlet there, and then a cigarette adapter lighter there. And then you do have a little light back here for if you're looking for something at night. And then coming on over to this side here, I do see a little bit of cosmetic issue there. Uh, nothing too crazy, it looks like maybe just a little clip. And then there's a little tiny scratch that goes through there. Otherwise, the rest of the body on this side looks really, really good. I do see on the mirror here, it is a little bit scraped up. Let me show you the second row of seats. So that's all powered there. And you can see this seat here, really good shape as well. Same thing with that one. And then here you got the uh, place where you can put that second seat in here, but it also does have cup holders for if you have that out. And then you do get the huge entertainment system up here as well. Over here, you've got another one of those household outlets, and then all of your video inputs for the camera up above, and then you have some cup holders there as well. Um, and I will also mention this does have two keys in today's day. That is a, a pretty wild thing, so it's nice to see it has them both. Here you can see you got power locks, windows, mirrors, fully power adjustable seat. Hop in here, and you can see you got the cup holder. Then I think this opens up right there. Got a good bit of space there. And then this seat here also, really, really good shape. You do have the sunroof there with the controls being all over here and to open up the power doors on every side and in the back. And here you got a really big uh, console here. And then you do have the uh, remote control for the video system in the back and all of the original owner's manuals and booklets there. And then over here you have all of your different climate control settings. And if I start this up right now, show you a couple things here. So while this is starting up and going through everything, you got all the different options for your rear vent, all of that, um, traction control, parking sensors, blind spot monitors, you can turn those on and off. You can turn on or off the power door if you'd rather have it be manual. Over here you have your uh, button for opening up the locking gas cap. And you do have the all weather mats in the fronts here so that does lead me to say that uh, in the back that should be all of the rows of seats for the all-weather mats you do have heated seats here a couple different spots for uh, 
auxiliary port USB down here for a DVD uh, Blu-ray reader there um, this is uh, also dual climate control as well as for controlling it in the back uh, up here everything is going to be touch screen this is a CD player up there as well uh, if we go in here is where you can see you have navigation which is in this vehicle really really nice when they come with it as long as you don't remove uh, an SD card or anything like that it'll always be on there it's not something that has like an upkeep uh, for monthly subscription uh, purposes so that's really really nice as well um, over here on the steering wheel you do have a couple different options to uh, adjust through uh, different screens through here like seek scan volume up and down Bluetooth functionality you can mute um, you could also change your mode, so AM, FM, Bluetooth, Sirius. Uh, this one here is a voice recognition button. Hit that and you could say like, call Shane the salesman and then it's just gonna call me for you. Uh, so really, really nice uh, quality of life features here. And then this one here controls the screen up in front of you so you can get a bunch of different uh, information displays. And then you do have your cruise control, which is this guy right down here. Daytime running lights and then auto lights as well. And then here you can see it's got the 28,446 miles on it. And then over here, you do have an additional compartment there as well. Um, I'll finish this off with the mirror. Uh, it's like a home link, so you can uh, get this synced up to your house, so you can use that for a garage door. But uh, I uh, hope this gave you a, a bit of information that you've been looking for here. Um, and again, this will go through detail, so it will get a little bit more clean. But uh, in that meantime, if you have any other additional questions for me, just feel free to let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.